Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're talking about arguments for the existence of God, and this time we'll discuss the argument from value. Premise 1. If God does not exist, there is no objective value to anything. Premise 2. There is objective value to at least some things. Conclusion. Therefore, God exists. Now let's look at the evidence for each of the premises. Premise 1. God is supremely truthful because being omniscient, he knows only truth and all truth. Because of this, when he appreciates the value in something, that value is true. However, it can't be true if it's only subjective. So, if God exists and is able to know that certain things have value, value can be objective. However, without God to appreciate value objectively, we're only left with the types of value that we as humans have. 1. Economic value, the worth of a specific resource to a specific person or group of people. For example, diamonds. However, if diamonds were extremely common, their value would decrease, because they would be needed less. The same is true of any resource, so this is not an entirely objective value. 2. Emotional value. Sometimes a thing may perform a function that benefits us even though it can't be bought or sold, like a beautiful sunset or the laughter of children. That can have a profound effect on our emotional and mental mood without being economic. However, because it's based on emotions, it can't be objective in value. 3. Personal Appreciation This is for when people say they value or don't value spinach, for example. It means whether or not they personally appreciate something, and it's just a matter of preference rather than actual value. Also, it's fully subjective. Because of this, the only kind of objective value that can exist is the value of things in relation to God, not men. Therefore, if God doesn't exist, neither does objective value. Premise 2. Objective value does exist, and we know this for one simple reason. Human life. Human life is of tremendous value, but it's not a subjective value. Human life doesn't decrease in value when humans become less economically useful. They don't decrease in value when they provide no emotional or mental benefits. They don't decrease in value when people don't appreciate having them around. The value of human life, therefore, isn't in any of the three categories of value from the explanation of the last premise. It's an objective value, because each human life has the same colossal value, regardless of who they are or what they're like. A one-year-old's life has the same value as a hundred and one-year-old, no matter what the old man has done with his life. So our experience teaches us that at least some things have objective value. Conclusion as long as both premises are true, the conclusion follows from them. This seems like a good argument. What kinds of objections could be brought against it? Objection 1. Your defense of premise 1 refers to God right off the bat. You can't do that. That's question begging. Reply. The defense of premise 1 refers to God in terms of defining some of the attributes of God. These attributes are part of what it means for something to be God. I'm not implying that God exists by defining what attributes are proper to being God. Either something exists with those attributes, and therefore God exists, or else something doesn't exist with those attributes, which would mean that God didn't exist. But premise 1 is consistent with either of those two outcomes, so it's not begging the question. Objection 2. Even if God doesn't exist, objective value could be real. It could just exist as part of the universe. Reply. The problem with this idea is that the universe isn't able to recognize true value. You've got to have a being who connects objective truth and value if you want to claim that value is ever objective. Objection 3. The whole idea of objective value is absurd, since value only exists when someone values something in some way. However, if that's all that value is, then value isn't objective, no matter what, since whether it's God or people who value something, it's still just based on how they feel. Reply. The reason why value is objective when the valuing is done by God is that, as stated above, God only knows true things. Therefore, if he thinks it is good, that must be true in some fashion. However, it can't be true unless it has some actual value, which doesn't depend on usefulness or preference. 
So it follows that God is the best explanation of the existence of objective value, which is a good reason to believe that God exists. Next time, can the type of universe we live in tell us anything about God? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.